Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is going to show you some really cool tricks to avoid that weird little V or butt shape that you might get in Illustrator when you're joining two paths and you're trying to create a nice curve. So the example I'm going to show you, um, which I bet is where you see it as well, is on necklines and hemlines that you want a nice sweeping round curve and you, when you join the points, you sometimes get that weird, awkward corner. So I'm gonna show you this example, sketching on top of a croquis. Um, if you want this free download, I have a whole set of croquis templates on my website. You can check that out. Hit the link that's gonna pop up on your screen right now, soheidi.com slash free, and you can grab the free croquis templates to sketch. Now, let me show you how we get the V, this weird little V butt thing, and how we avoid getting the V. So I've got my file set up so that I've got my croquis on one layer and that is locked and I have another layer that I'm gonna sketch on top of. When I sketch, sometimes I like to sketch with a random color so I can see what I'm doing. Let's go with turquoise for this example. Um, so I'll zoom in and often how we start sketching is we start at the center front neckline and we can just kind of pull this anchor um, out. And if you don't know how to use the pen tool, I have a whole tutorial on it, so I'm not gonna, that's not the purpose of this demonstration to show you how to use the pen tool, but um, I'm just gonna draw my t-shirt really fast. So uh, check out the site if you want another tutorial on using the pen tool. Um, but let's watch how we get the V and how we avoid getting the V. All right, so now I've got this first half of my garment drawn. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna reflect it along the center front. I can do that by grabbing my reflect tool. And if I hover over one of these anchor points on the center front, make sure your smart guides are on when you do this. So view smart guides, okay? So I hold the option or alt key um, with the reflect tool. So I've got half of my shirt selected. I've got my reflect tool. I hover over one of the anchor points along the center front with my option or alt key. Um, held down, I click right there. What that does is it opens up the reflect dialog and it um, allows me to create a copy. So I'll hit copy. And what it does is it reflects it and it copies it at the same time. So let's go ahead and turn our croquis off. And now you can see this is where you get that weird little V shape, right? In the hemline as well as in the neckline. My neckline is teeny tiny too. I'd probably adjust that a little bit. So let's go ahead and do Command or Control Z a couple times to undo. And let's just delete this all and start absolutely over. So I'm gonna grab my pen tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop an anchor point at the center front and I'm not gonna pull a curve on it, okay? So I'm just gonna come over to my high point shoulder, drop another anchor point, and now the rest of my garment I'm gonna draw normally, okay? But I'm purposely gonna leave my neck, kind of you might think as a V-neck, but we'll change it in a second, and then we'll come down to the hem, wherever that might be, whoops. And again with the hem, I'm gonna just leave it as a V. Okay, so now once I've done that, I'm gonna grab my selection tool, I'm gonna to select the entire half of my t-shirt, and I realize I don't have the armhole and all the other details drawn. We're just kind of doing this as a, a quick demonstration um, with the sort of weird V butt thing that we get in the, at the center front. So with my t-shirt selected, I'm going to grab my reflect tool. Again, I can hover over that anchor point along the center front, hold the option or alt key before I click. So holding that key, I'll then click, and choose copy to create a copy and reflect that all at once. Now let's turn off our croquis and I'm gonna join the anchor points along the center front. So with my direct selection tool, I'm gonna to select these two anchor points and I'm gonna join those, so Commander Control J and I'll do the same for these two at the bottom, Commander Control J. Now within Illustrator, underneath the pen tool, we have what's called the anchor point tool. If yours says convert anchor point, um, it works a little bit differently in earlier versions, but you can still do this trick. So grab the anchor point tool, shift C is the hotkey, and I will hover over the anchor point that creates the V here. So what I'm gonna do is I can hover and then drag. And as you'll notice, as I drag one direction, it sort of twists up into a knot. That's not what I want. I want it to go the other direction. Another cool trick here is as I'm dragging, I can hold the shift key to drag this purple, uh, 
perfectly, excuse me, um, and dragging the handles out perfectly horizontal to create a perfectly symmetrical curve. Otherwise my curve might come out a little bit wonky. So I can hold that. And now what I've got is a nice round curve along my neckline. I'll come down here and I'll do the same for the hemline. So again, drag this out. And I did this on purpose, but what I wanna show you guys is that this didn't work the same way it did it. So I'm gonna undo a couple times, I'm gonna tell you exactly why that didn't work. So let's zoom in really close. And notice I actually have, whoops, two anchor points here. All right, so let's zoom out and we're gonna undo a couple more times because I'm gonna show you how to avoid that. So Commander Control Z, Commander Control Z. I wanna get back to where I, Perfect, where I don't have any anchor points joined. So I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool. I'm gonna to select these two anchor points here. Now these two happen to be directly on top of each other, exactly precisely. So when two anchor points are exactly on top of each other and you choose object path join, command or control J, it automatically just merges them into one anchor point. But if we zoom down to our hemline here, you'll notice our anchor points are not directly on top of each other. So we want to fix this. Okay. Because if we don't have, if we don't get these merged into one single anchor point, then the result that we want is not going to be, um, is not going to be what happens. So I'm going to select these two anchor points with my direct selection tool and I can come up here and I can choose object path average. Okay. So watch what will happen. It will average It'll ask me if I want to average the horizontal, the vertical, or both axes. I want to average both and watch, it will stack those anchor points directly on top of each other. So we'll average the position of them. I can then choose object path join. Now those are one single anchor point and the trick to add the curve will work. I want to show you one other way to do this. Um, I just did command or control Z a couple times to undo, but I want to show you a keyboard shortcut to do this. I'm going to select both of those anchor points with my direct selection tool, the white arrow, instead of doing a two-step process of object path average and then object path join. There is a keyboard shortcut. It is not available from any of the drop downs. It is command option shift J that will average and join the anchor points in one keyboard shortcut. If you're on a Mac, again, Command, Option, Shift, J. If you're on a PC, it would be Control, Alt, Shift, J. So I'm gonna do that. That averages and joins my anchor points all at once. Now let's zoom back out. Let's see, did we join these already? I forgot, we did. Okay, so now I can grab my anchor point tool. I can hover over this anchor point. I'll hold the shift key to click and drag out to curve that. I will come down to the anchor point at the bottom. And again, I will hold the shift key. I will make sure I'm dragging in the right direction. And now I have a nice smooth curved hemline without that weird little V butt shape. So some cool tricks to make sure your curved portions of your sketch come out nice and tidy along the center front when you're reflecting. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I am so Heidi. If you like what I'm doing and you like these videos, check out my website. There's a ton more content there. It is SoHeidi.com. Sign up for my email list. I send out tons of free premium content only to email list subscribers, stuff you don't see here on YouTube. I would love to have you there and get to know you a little bit better. Thanks again for watching. I am here every Wednesday with a tutorial. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.